Welcome back. Let us now see how to approach the question number 22 in the CKS exam simulator in Kalashal. So question number 22, task rate is three percentage. And they mentioned it can be solved in any kubectl context. So the release engineering team has shared some YAML manifests and Docker files with you to review. The files are located under this directory. As a container security expert, you are asked to perform a manual uh, static analysis and find out possible security issues with respect to the unwanted credential exposure. Running processes as root is of no concern in this task. Write the file names which have issues into this file. Note, in the Docker file and YAML manifest, assume that the referred files, folder secrets, and volume mounts are present. Disregard syntax or logic errors. Perfect. So first, let's change directory and navigate to this folder. And uh, let's see what files are here. Seems we have a couple of Docker files and a couple of uh, YAML manifests. Let's go one at a time. Let's go from the beginning. Right. Open the first file. Looks good. So we are now, we have to go through these individual files and see if there is any risk of credential exposure or any similar issues. And if yes, we have to write the file name to the given location here. So this doesn't seem to have any problem with that. Looks so straightforward, good. Let's proceed with the second one in the list. Docker file dash py. This is comment. This is going to run from the requirements.txt, copy, config. Looks good. So we have checked two files so far. Uh, we have not seen any sensitive information expo exposure. The third file. So here we see configure credentials, copy secret token. So it's copying the secret token to the current directory and then running a register.shl shell script, supplying the secret token. After that is registered, it's deleting the secret token. So it may appear that we have uh, copied the secret token, done the processing and deleted it. But from a uh, container world, all these are added as a layer on top of each other. So which means even though it is deleted at the end, it this the, the secret token will still be uh, living or available in, in, in the layers before this, right? So this is, not a safe approach. So we have to write this file name here and let's open the file as well. Okay, looks good. Let's now inspect the deployment readies.yaml, which is our fourth file. So this is a deployment file. Uh, here we clearly see it is uh, in the arguments section, it is printing the username and the secret password and then the entry point. So it's kind of exposing everything, the entry point, the username and password. And uh, these username and password is uh, used as uh, environment variables, which will be exposed 
when it is running. Not a good practice. So we're writing this this file. Let's open to see if we do have two entries there. Yes, looks good. So let's inspect the fifth file in the list. It's, it's a storage class, nothing abnormal. And the next file in the list is PV manual. So here as well, so far, so good. It's just a volume mount in the host saying mount data. And then the PVC. Looks good. Now the part file. Uh, doesn't have any sensitive information exposed. The last file in the list. So it does have a service and a stateful set, nothing in the service section. Whereas on the stateful, se stateful set session, we do see an enrollment username, administrator, password. Oh, it's clearly in the direct, clearly in the plain text format, which is a no go. So let's write this file name to this one. So out of all these files listed here, we have observed three of the files having sensitive information, exposing the sensitive information. Let's open the file and see if we have all the three files listed there. And it does, looks good. So that's it for this question and thanks a lot for your time.